All right, what's up, Hot Squad? This is your man, Taurus Hawk, back into it. Welcome back to another weekly dose of Hawk Mega Reactions. So, welcome to July, y'all. Yes, we made it to July. Holy crap. Five months, y'all, until 2025 is about to come. I mean, it has been a hell of a year. It's, it's really hard to believe we're halfway through the year, and we're here freaking July. And I hope y'all had a great 4th of July day, holiday, even though my butt had to work Friday. But I left very early. I say it before my lunch break. But yes, um, I had a pretty decent 4th of July. I just chilled relax, play some games and whatnot, and binge watch movies on my laptop. So pretty much that's about it. So Hot Squad, yes. It's now time for another week of Delta Hot Banger reactions, and I have a lot to do today. That's right. So I'm gonna get straight into the recaps right here, right now, then we get to the trailers. So Hot Squad, we're going to watch the first recap, the first Hot Banger recap, my correction, of Blank Boy's recap of Godzilla X Kong the New Empire. This actually recently just came out, I believe a week or two ago, and this is called When Godzilla Kong Shows Scar King and Shimo Why They Were the King on the Monsters. So yes, I of course, I of course sure. It's another Godzilla Escom recap, but hey, look, I enjoy watching these recaps. People's takes on these. You know, I recently just saw Jai Juice's recap on Godzilla S. Kong. Really enjoyed that. So, nice to see Blank Boy is doing another one as well. So, I'm ready to see what's going on. What's going on, Blank Boy, man? Because I'm finally, finally back with more recaps, baby. So, Hot Squad, what for ado, we're going to check out Blank Boy's recap of Godzilla S. Kong, the new empire right now. Let's get straight to it, baby. It's about to go down. Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Uh. So Kong has been moving like Thanos on his healing journey. <laughs> this is post role playing as Chris Breezy and Rihanna. <laughs> Chris He's since been told by Godzilla that the streets up here on regular Earth not safe for you. You're <laughs> only valid inside of Hollow Earth. <laughs> and while taking a stroll in Hollow Earth, he sees some giant monster walking up on him. Knowing these is the trenches, he's prepared. Danger lurks around every corner, but as the creature gets closer, he slowly starts to realize that this is not any danger, just some random little man. Keep in mind, Kong hasn't seen anyone of his race <laughs> ever since his mom and dad got Thomas and Martha with him. <laughs> yeah, guy hasn't had any yams in centuries, been beating his meat to straight hieroglyphics. So he puts his weapon down trying to comfort Suko and reaches out <laughs> his hand for Suko to grab, but the little asshole bites him. Yep. Kong is thinking to himself like, dang. Maybe Adrian Peterson was onto something. And so oh, Kong nah. starts chasing the kid, moving like Michael Jackson. And there's another one, Balding, rocking Balding. like LeBron James. Look <laughs> at Kong's face. He had no idea they'd come this ugly. While in shock, Kong gets stopped by Ooh. two more. Bro right here licking his lips, he said, oh yeah, I'm trying to get some of that ooshka smooshkas holding down. <laughs> Suddenly music starts playing, I'm like, hey, oh chill, when this become a ditty party? But three apes, I can't escape, we not making a tape, Rod Wave got a round shape, don't matter, Kong in four. Getting <laughs> one with the rock, and while the other one is choking him, Kong forces friendly fire, then knocks yep. him down. Ooh. Kong now realizes he's dealing with Dumb, Dumber, and Dylan Sprouse, so he <laughs> his attack and forces friendly fire again. Bulk Oh, by the way, guys, other ass cons on HBO Max. I kind of found out they just released it on the 4th of July, so I might rewatch it. He starts running thinking, <laughs> No, it's my time. time. And gets his shit rocked so fast. Yep. The strap that fell out of Kong's pocket when they tackled him earlier. So he goes to pick it up, and Suko starts wilding, <laughs> attacking him. We'll go this is strap noises. Somebody need to send this ass to <laughs> the street. You just think you hard. You oh, think bad about Mr. Coco. You see those guys over there? They gonna leave marshmallows in your cocoa. This. I used to love watching that show on A and E, man. He's little bro like a chip, dipping him in the dirt, and then as a weapon, Ooh. smacking two of them. Ooh. Then Kong said, "This is Sparta!" Kicking his ass yeah. down and throwing super. Yeah. Him. Imagine this. Oh, by the way, that part when um he um. Use Little Kong, well, I forgot his name, but Little Kong as a weapon, that was absolutely hilarious. My theater was rolling their asses off. I mean, that was hilarious. Discovering you're not the last of your race anymore, just to have to send these niggas into extinction again. Slamming bro and banging on his back and gets Damn. tackled, throwing him off the mountain. But Kong doesn't want to let him fall. He's a good guy. Come on, man, get back up here. We go get you some strawberry juice oil, my boy. Since these strokes, make sure to hit all eight angles. You're straight. <laughs> but nice guys finish last, cause Kong saved him just to now end up having to kick his ass right back off again. <laughs> Kong is staring off the cliff, admiring his work, and bro here is like, Zwing, Scoop, we gotta get out of here. <laughs> yeah. On the jets. But Kong is so <laughs> unserious, it's crazy. Because yeah. he picks up another rock and chucks it. With a right thing that can only be rivaled by the child kisser Tom Brady himself. Child kisser. Because that shit was right wow. on the money, doming bro in his bald spot. <laughs> but this man Kong just stands there and lets bro get back up and get away. 
He didn't even do that in order to catch him. He just threw it for the love of the game. <laughs> but they left Lil Bro Suko, and he still needs to yeah, Suko, yeah. <clears throat> and then make some snitch on where the rest of the Kongs live at. So Kong arrives to their all hope is lost ass home. Shit look like a Bowser level. Dudes hmm. in here get enslaved. Fuck you taking a break for this. <laughs> Kong wants to go over, but Suko's like, Oh, that's not how the game is played! You can't do that! But then Bro gets kicked again, and Kong is like, nah. Fuck that! Walks over and with a welcoming look on his face, offers his old ass a hand up. And this is part of why I'll never understand how half y'all were out here rooting for Godzilla over Kong. This. He's just a big ass bully. What, y'all be watching Rugrats like, oh yeah, Angelica, they think it's all sunshine and rainbows out here. <laughs> Kong starts getting pressed by the bully. He's just yapping away and Kong is looking at him with the Steven and Snickers. <laughs> like, puts him to yep. sleep. Duck his ass out. Korsuko is out here stressing. Kong just slept one of the higher ups and now he's in here emoting too. So a different ape gets to snitching and this <laughs> is when we get to see... Scar. Scar King, yeah. And he starts dramatically walking out in slow motion while Suko is in shambles right now. He emerges from the shadows and instantly starts to hit the Lil Uzi shoulder roll. I can't lie, he was in that shit though. Kong side eyeing him, confused as hell, and Scar King jumps down. Everyone starts kneeling, and Kong is confused like, damn. What's going on? Everybody getting married or something? <laughs> he walks up to Kong and sees that he's got a titanium tooth, which he got from the humans earlier because his real one was decayed. Yep. So Scar King starts clowning, bro, in front of everyone. Hey, y'all, look at this nigga. He don't even got rotting teeth. Everybody joining in, even though he got the talent of Amy Schumer. Shit Damn. not funny, but they Damn. wanna live. Including Suko, who's like, uh, 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 I think I look, he get it now. But Scar King is like, wait, hold on. I know your ass is not laughing. Nigga, Type time. Poor Suko starts getting pressed. Oh god! And his guardian steps in like, hey, he's just a kid. Chill. Yeah. Scar King decides to leave them alone, but he peeps Kong is not messing with the dictatorship. So he's like, oh, you mad? Well, get angry. Kicking <laughs> Suko's homie into the lava. Kong's like, this is why you balded. <laughs> My keeps package is coming soon. <laughs> All while Suko's mourning. It's been a long day for a little bro. Scar King goes ahead and takes out his whip while Kong picks up his battle axe like Oh, I, I packed that thing too, so you come around this way, you will caught. get caught Scar King <laughs> swings his whip at Kong with a crystal at the end <laughs> oh, He misses him Kong tries to fight back, but Scar King said I'm not gonna let you get the yes. chance Going back in for another suit Catches Kong's arm and yep. pulls the whip back, cutting him. Yep. Kong is checking out his hand to see if he's cut while this mofo is just cheesing. Hmm. Bro's a professional troll. Ear to ear while somebody's already frustrated is top tier work, a master of his craft. Hmm. Scar King flips out the way, weaves the slash, and then blocks Kong. Scar King's clearly got the agility, but Kong's got the strength hmm. because he puts this man on one knee. But he's smart. He knows his advantage is speed, so he uses it. Pushing the axe down, hitting a figure skating move, and cuts Kong's arm with the crystal. And you know, I can always respect someone who knows their strengths and sticks to it. When was the last time 21 Savage called ISO on a song and wasn't a feature? Hmm. He knows you can't say clock with a switch for four minutes straight. Kong hmm. swings back but misses and gets hit with a spinning back foot getting knocked down. And as if Kong wasn't already getting embarrassed enough in front of the newfound hoes, Scar King grabs his hand and takes the axe from him. Kong has never had an opponent with this type of IQ before. Godzilla was out here getting caught with, haha, made you look ass attacks. <laughs> yeah. Scar King flips onto Kong and starts choking him out again. Kong is fighting for his life, meanwhile Scar King is just cheesing and needs a dentist. Suko's <laughs> accepted that this is over. He's like, damn, I didn't even get to learn his name. But hmm. Kong tees up, throwing Scar King off of him, and then picks him up, slamming Man. him. Scar King just got tossed around <laughs> like an IG thought, so all of his IG. dick riders were about to join in, but he said, hold on, let me cook. But when the hmm. cameraman pans, this man Kong isn't backing down one bit. Scar King is like, oh yeah, never mind, I've seen enough, and goes to summon Shimo. The first thing we only see is her eyes, Kong looking like... <laughs> Yo, who the fuck is this nigga? Peep Suko. He's so young and he's already about to have a heart attack. <laughs> we see Shimo yep, and Shimo. she looks absolutely insane. Godzilla done found himself a snow bunny. I know he's about to lose his D1 scholarship. Ice is growing everywhere with each step and the crystal that Scar King's got is a remote. So he points it at Shimo, got her seizing and then points it at Kong. She's believed to have caused the Ice Age. This man hmm. Scar King got hit one time and hmm. said fuck it, weapon of mass destruction. Yep. Shimo starts charging up her attack and Kong is standing there like, Ah oh, shit, here we go again. Here we go again. <laughs> he knows what's coming, he's went against atomic breath spamming from Godzilla. 
as Shimo shoots off her frostbite breath and Kong is able to flip out the way and grab his axe. Which is smart. I mean, it worked versus Godzilla's atomic breath back in the old days. Yeah, now, well, the thing about the old days, <laughs> they the old days. Because Shimo's frostbite breath is a whole different beast. The entire axe and all of Kong's hand is getting frostbite. Scar King standing there staring just like Turn it up! So Shimo puts more into yeah. it, blasting Kong's axe, and he shakes off the ice, but his hand is toast. Shit is permanently stuck in a crypt side now. Shimo is telling him, yo, you can leave through here. As Scar King tells Shimo, job's not finished. As Shimo starts blasting at Kong again, but he's able to get to the cave and dip out of there. But Scar King is like, nah. You dare come into my concentration camp and give these niggas hope? I can't let that slide. Get his ass. And then start celebrating with the axe like they just won game seven of the NBA finals. <laughs> Kong has turned into a track star, but he's got booby traps set everywhere. Straight up spamming this dude right here. His teammates don't even bother to check on him. They know he's flat standing on the wall right now. Bro right here has got a knife, but Kong shows off his vertical, sending him down to an abyss somewhere. But eventually Kong finds himself trapped in a corner, and they're able to spot and avoid his booby trap wire. If it did actually work, it would have released a bunch of boulders on top to crush them. But I just want to know, what led Kong to have to set all of this up? Who is bro's hops? <laughs> Kong accepts he's gonna have to fight them with one hand and puts them up. Take you all on. At us. But the rocks start <laughs> falling, and bro right here can't understand that the court wasn't tripped, as he uses his homie as a shield, which is crazy. <laughs> Kong's OD confused. The wind must be real crazy today or something, but it turns out it was just low bro super, and it got him hyped right now. <laughs> Unfortunately though, Kong's hand is charred meat, straight Aisha Curry's cooking. So <laughs> his blessing was a gauntlet, and he has to go get help from Godzilla because Unk has decided he finna take over the world with Shimo since Kong showed him the way out of Hollow Earth. <laughs> Suko's looking at Kong like he's tweaking for asking for Godzilla's help. And he's right, because Godzilla wastes no time. Kong knows he's not sanctioned up here on normal Earth anymore. Bro swam over 2,200 miles just for this aid. Kong's telling him, yo, chill, I need your help down there. But Godzilla's listening skills are on par with Stevie Wonder's <laughs> skills. He straight up charges in all the way yeah. and tackles Kong and laying him out on his ass. Now let's just take a second to peep Kong's face real quick. This is the look of a man who's not trying to do this for real. He's seen flashbacks. <laughs> but there's no time to reminisce about that ass beating he caught before. So yep. he gets the bully Maguire. <laughs> As he throws sand at Godzilla, blinding him, sending him into another pyramid. The ancient Egyptians who died for these creations <laughs> in shambles right now seeing this unfold. Godzilla goes for a bite and is eating straight zirconium, pushing Kong against the third mm. man, man that's about to get fucked up too now. And this is how I know. Godzilla's spending too much time around mm. people. Because he hits <laughs> this man with the fucking okay, super oh, oh yeah, super. Super. on first team all CTE, mm. no doubt. He then goes for a stomp that Kong is able to roll out the way of. Kong accepts that there's no way of talking sense into Godzilla at this point, so he starts to fight back. This Godzilla is right, laying him out right on his back. Kong wastes no time, showing off the Michael Crackhead Jordan vertical, <laughs> slamming Godzilla's face and a right. Mm. This is Gauntlet bit, so he socks him. And I think Kong just decides to use this moment to get his lick back for getting swept last movie, because he starts wallowing. I'm pretty sure bro forgot he's supposed to be here to get Godzilla's help. Mm. Godzilla's in a helpless position, so he knows what he has to do. When in doubt, bust out all reliable, yep. charging up his atomic Tom breath, breath yep. Kong's like, hey, shut your <laughs> Putting this man to sleep and then starts dragging him by his tail. You're going whether you like it or yeah, not. Yeah, no. But come on, Godzilla is not going for that. No, nope, so ain't. The atomic breath. And what do you think Kong did? That boy started running, yep. diving out the way of the blast. But the atomic breath kicked up so much sand in the air, Kong can't see anything and is slow to react when Godzilla headbutts his ass to the ground and stomps on his chest. Godzilla, being the fair man he is, decides Kong. You broke the truce and left Hollow Earth, so now you gotta die. Damn. I'm going to call GG, but gets blasted <laughs> away by an EMP, which yeah, turns out Mothra. to be Mothra who came to break it up. And she starts to say to Godzilla, Godzilla's looking like, oh yeah, I need those, and at least to team up and form a super team. And they waste no time as they arrive to Hollow Earth and start oh, man, that commentary, man. Sparking, while riding Shimo starts charging in too, and Kong is like, oh. That's a great idea! I'm with that! Monkey see monkey do as he hops on Godzilla's back and all four jump in at yep. one another. 
but just in that moment, a shockwave goes off, dispersing all of them from each other. <clears throat> Two details to keep in mind right now. In this specific part of Hollow Earth, the gravity is much lighter, and Scar King pulled up with his entire army. <laughs> so Godzilla's out here cooking the CPUs. It's been 2,000 cheeseburgers or so. He's this is cheeseburgers. Like this. It's his winter soldier instincts that got him moving different because <laughs> he catches up to the snow bunny. And look at my man's grip. He don't ever want to let her go. But she uses Godzilla as a launch pad and is able to escape. Like six different charges coming his way now. Damn. Scar King using Kong's own Damn. weapon on him goes in but gets blocked. He's now starting to realize this is why you don't try new shit. Ninja tried that low taper fade and ended up looking <laughs> like a lesbian. So he goes back to the wind, grabbing Kong and kicking him. But Kong hits him with that Allen Iverson, that left right arm. Mm. Kong gets Nobody. snuck in the back, but gets saved. Finished by Lil Bro Suko. That's what I'm talking yeah. about! That's what he's gonna be, mate! He's been coming in clutch all movie. Yeah. My boy tired of eating dirt cookies for dinner. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Haiti? <laughs> and Bro with another one. Kong looking at him with a smile like, you know what? You are right in my book, Ed Sheeran. But we can't. <laughs> sure. Shimo shoots Godzilla with her breath, freezing him. Got him looking like a <laughs> Ma out here. Luckily for him though, Mothra swoops in and stops Shimo's frostbite breath. And considering Godzilla's got enough radiation inside of him to create a million unincredible hulks like this one, it's no surprise to see him bust out the ice and yep. tackle Shimo again. Eventually, though, the gravity starts to give out and everyone starts falling into the portal to leave Hollow Earth and come to our normal Earth, Kong losing his axe again. But I just want to point out this real quick. As everyone is falling, one of the random CPUs is still out here choking Suko. Why is your up a toddler, bro? They want that promotion by Star King so bad. They eventually go tumbling down, landing on some crystals, and Suko's had enough, kicking him off to die yep. of all damage. So the portal took them to Brazil, Rio. And with Shimo here, Scar King is racking up his KD ratio. He really feeling like the man until... Damn! Yup. That punch was so OD, this man done lost the tooth. And damn. it's crazy. Life really comes at you fast. Yeah. Because Kong's looking at him like, huh, damn nigga. I bet you wish you had one of these VDs right now. By the way, poor Shimo. She's catching an ass beating for some shit she don't even want to be a part of for real. Cause Godzilla hits her with the atomic breath, laying her on her back. She's slumped over. So when Scar King is back into a corner and is trying to use his get out of jail free card, the remote isn't quite working right now. He's on true unk status, banging on the back of the remote and shit. Godzilla then tackles Shimo through the building, lowering the rent by thousands. And I want y'all to really peek this. Godzilla starts getting pushed back, right? But hold on, zoom in, bro. Her head is the size of my man's torso. Godzilla is Kevin Hart fighting in the Shaquille O'Neal weight class and is holding his own. That's gotta be applauded. Scar King thinks his ass is Spider-Man and just gets laid on his back so fast. Shimo's literally in the middle of an ISO getting hit with Hezzy Tween cross cross Damn. right now, but he doesn't care, still telling her to bail his ass out and she saves him from getting slammed. While Ryo's getting destroyed, Lobro Suko continues to be a W man, speaking Kong's axe and makes it his mission to deliver it. Yep. But the trip takes a second, so for right now Kong is looking like free eats until Godzilla comes through, biting Shimo right in the neck. But that Uno reverse card hit harder than Will Smith having to kill Sam and Iron mm. Legend. Cause Damn, he man. uses his own momentum against him. Get out of here. That was sad. And I told y'all already, Godzilla's <laughs> got short arms. So now he's stuck turtling and comes in a 2v1 as Star King kicks him into Shimo's bite. And oh my goodness. She started treating this man like he done came home with the acronym for Family Force Fruit Fruit on his report card. <laughs> dragging him all through the buildings, killing millions and tossing bro into the side of a skyscraper. Got a fucking Kong-shaped hole in the building now. And Kong doesn't even get a chance, bro, because instantly Shimo's frostbite breath starts blasting at him. Kong's in trouble. He Help calling me. out to Godzilla like, yo, bro, this was supposed to be your master. Where you at? As Godzilla starts charging up his atomic breath, and quick side note, yep. the Super Saiyan rosé colors clear the blue. Argue with your mother, because I'm not doing it. <laughs> Star King, who tries to whip him and quickly learn the fuck around and find out graph, getting his ass tossed away like a side character. I ain't gonna lie, Purple Godzilla tougher than Boo Godzilla. Yeah, I, I, I can agree with that. While all of this is happening, Kong is still blocking for his life as Godzilla rips the remote off of the whip. The Frog King knows he's nothing without that, so we see him start feeling like a crackhead for it. And listen, I know I said Godzilla bully, but the bully is on my side now? Shit. Give me a lunch money too, nigga. <laughs> he tries going for the remote, and Godzilla's atomic breath hits him in the back, 
but the remote is still free on the ground, mm -hmm. and he'll deal with the pain of the atomic breath before dealing with the pain of actually having to put in some work. Jumping out of the way of it, grabbing the remote, and that shit got him cheesing ear to ear. But it did not last long, because Godzilla blasted right back out of his hands. While they've been beefing over whether we watch in Grey's Anatomy 37th season or <laughs> Morgan, Kong has still been blocking this whole time, so Godzilla pulls up and tackles Shimo into another building. Kong knows the only way to end all of this is to get that dang remote, so he goes for it getting stopped by Scar King and starts choking my man out. But here comes Lobo Suko, yep. carrying the axe that's bigger than him. Kong bites Scar King, and Suko is able to destroy the remote, causing a giant shopper throughout. Scar King gives his Scooby-Doo ass speech And I would've gotten away with a tooth if it weren't for you meddling kids And grabs <laughs> Lobro Suko, but pick on someone your own size <laughs> Kong said, oh yeah? You like grabbing people, huh? Come here, nigga Godzilla said, oh, yo bro, throw that lob on some D-Wade and LeBron type guy <laughs> So Kong does, as Godzilla spikes him back with his tail And this is where it really starts to get embarrassing for Scar King well, I mean, the Frog King Kong <laughs> Frog King, yeah And starts holding this man like he competing in the DDG Twitter baby <laughs> challenge Shimo doesn't know what to do right now She got her freedom and is like, shit, who do I attack? But it doesn't take very long for her to make her decision. She starts blasting Scar King, turning him into an icicle. Yep. Kong pulls him closer, that man looking like Megatron before he got defrosted and yep. brought back. This is over, GG's. But just for the cherry on top, Kong decides to spike him into Ooh. the ground, sending chunks everywhere. And all yep. my homies love Shimo. Look at her. She's so happy to be free and see the sky. Suko too. Kong gives a smile and Godzilla starts <laughs> emoting to let everyone know, even with everything we just did, Y'all still not sanctioned here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, awesome recap, man. Awesome recap, yeah. Like I said before, I had such a great time watching Godzilla X Kong, and that's on in Max. I might rewatch it um the second time because I watched it in theaters. So yeah, W recap, Blake boy, W recap. Keep the great with these, man. So so glad I got a chance to do a recap. So yeah, absolutely great. I'm gonna get this train going because I got more recaps going. So yes, hot squad. That's my conclusion on my reaction to Blake Boy's recap. Of Godzilla X Kong. So if you enjoyed this, please hit up on and comment share your thoughts. Have you seen the movie? How many times have you seen it? Are you gonna see it at HBO Max? And um, yeah, yeah, most definitely. I'm gonna check it out, Max. So Hot Squad, please stay tuned because my Hot Banger recap marathon continues with my reaction to Jujutsu's Transformers Reservoir recap. So Hot Squad, please stay tuned for that. <laughs>